Hello guys, welcome back to another episode of Android Application Development Tutorial with Android Studio. So in the previous part of this tutorial series, we already learned about how to use the linear layout in Android. So in this episode, we are going to learn about how to use the relative layout in Android. So if, if, if you use the relative layout as your layout parent, then the layout of every view element in that particular layout is related to each other or the layout of the view element is related to the parent itself so you will get the clear idea of how to use a relative layout with an example suppose we have to create a layout similar to this one so this layout contains two text field and a button also you can see that the text field, the two edit text are arranged in the same row. So the relative layout is the better choice for creating a layout similar to this one. So here I am going to create this layout. So start a new project in Android Studio. First we have to create a new layout. So right click the layout folder and create a new layout resource file. I name the file as relative demo and change the root element into relative layout and click OK. OK, now we got a new layout. Here the parent element is relative layout and here the layout width is much parent, height is also much parent. So we have to create a layout similar to this one. So first we have to add all the needed string resources. Here we need two hint, first name, last name and a text for the button. So open up the strings.xml inside the values folder and add the needed string resources. So here I am going to add the first string resource. It is first name. And the value is first name. Now add the second string resource. It is second name. It is last name. And the value is last name. Okay. Now we have to add the text for the button. It is save and the value is save. Okay, now we add all the needed string resources. Now go to the layout. So the first thing we need some bracket at left side and right side. Here you can see that before first name there is a bracket and after last name there is also a margin is available. So we have to add some margin at left side and right side. So we have to provide some margin some margin using padding android layout sorry it is android padding right i provide the value as 616 dp now provide a margin at left side android padding left It is also 16 dp. Okay. So now we have to create the child components. First we have to create an edit text that represent the first name. So here I am going to create the first edit text. Here I am not going to provide any width for the first edit text. I give it as 0 dp and height is much parent ok so here I am not specify any width for the first edit text this is because now I am going to relate the width of the first edit text with the second one ok so I change the height into much parent it is not much parent it is wrap content yeah, it is wrap content. Now we have to specify the hint 
Android hint it is first name okay also we need an ID for this edit text so Android use the attribute ID plus ID and it is first name I specify the ID as first name okay so now this layout this child component is not visible because we are not providing any width for that particular child components that's why it is not visible okay also we have to align the first child component that means the first name at the parent left side here the parent is the relative layout so we have to we have to move the first edit text at the left side of the parent so now I am going to connect this edit text with the parent so Android layout align parent left specify it as true now this particular edit text is aligned at the left side of the parent so again we are not we can't see the particular edit text because we are not specify any width for the edit text still it is 0 GP okay now I am going to specify the second edit text here I am going to specify width I specify it as 100 GP and change the height into wrap content here also I am going to specify an ID for this edit text Android ID plus ID it is last name okay now we have to specify the hint so use the attribute Android hint it is last name okay so now we have to align the second edit text at the right side right side of the parent so now I am going to connect this second edit text with the parent so Android layout align parent right into true now look at the design now we got the second edit text but the first edit text is still missing because we are not specify any width for that one okay so now we have the second edit text it is related to the parent here the parent is relative layout and it is visible because it has both width and height now I am going to specify the first edit text that means now I am going to relate the width of the first edit text with the, with the second one so I am going to add another attribute to the edit text now I am going to connect these two edit text using the ID so Android align to left off and use this attribute Android layout to left off use the ID attribute here I am going to align this edit text to the left side of the first second edit text so here the ID of the second edit text is last name use that one now look at the design now we have the two edit text first name and last name but here the width of this edit text is related to the second one okay now we have to create the last view component it is a button so what are the needed parameters for the button we have to align the button at the right side of the parent also we have to specify the button below the last name edit text okay so here I am going to add a button this button I specify the width as 100 dp and height into wrap content and specify a text and draw it text use the string resource save now look at the design now here we have the button now we have to align this button below the second edit text last name so now I am going to align it below the last edit text and draw it layout below use the ID plus ID it is the last name 
Now look at the layout. Now the button is below the second edit text. Now we have to align this button right side of the parent. That means now the button is related to another child view component. Also this button is related to the parent. Okay, now I am going to align it to the right side and throw it align parent right into true. Now we finish all the components. Now we can compare this one. We made a same GUI, exact same GUI. Okay, so this is the use of a relative layout in Android. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe my channel now for getting more video updates on Android. See you in the next episode.